Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Projects. I am back with another video. So in this video, we are going to learn most amazing thing on Android. We are going to see how to integrate machine learning in your Android app. And believe on me, this video is going to be very interesting and very easy. To the, after watching this video till end, you will going to understand how exactly machine learning works in Android and how you can integrate ML in your Android apps. So this is the same thing with AI. As an Android developer, you should know how to integrate ML models in your Android application. You don't need to know how to create ML models, but you just need to know how to integrate them. So in this video, we are going to create a, just a simple basic application with the help of ML, TensorFlow, and we are going to explore these things in Android Studio. So before starting this video, let me show you a demo what we are going to make in this video. So this I have to open my phone. So you can see we are going to create this project, first demo project. So we are going to create an image classifier app and it will tell us the images name of the birds by the help of their images. So I have to select image. So if I click on load image, so you can see it opened my gallery and I have to pick the image from here. So I pick this image here so you can see on the bottom it is showing me the output. So if I click on the output, you can see it is opening the Google to verify and validating the results. So you can see this is the exact result which I get. You can see. So we are going to create this in this project and let me show click select a different image so you can see it is giving a different name and you can see this is the exact correct result. So we are, this is the and this is done with the help of ML in Android Studio. So we are going to learn how to integrate ML TensorFlow in our Android project. So don't forget to delay now let's start the video and if you don't subscribe the channel till now then please subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification. So now let's start the video. So for this what we have to do first of all we should understand from where we are going to get the machine learning model so for this just open your google and any browser whichever you want so you can see this is the tensorflow hub this is same thing like github but github is a repository or we can say github is a site where you can get the different code and tensorflow hub is the site where you can get the different models so you can see i am inside my and I will also provide this link in description so you can see this is the classifier birds model so and now you can see inside this we have a tensorflow and we have a tensorflow light so both things are almost same so we are going to use tensorflow light so you can see in the documentation you can see we have to just pass the input here input is expected to the images so we have to pass just the images and it will give the output of and the name of the word so it will going to give a list of entire birds name with the maximum probability so we have to show that name which have maximum probability and that result will be the accurate result so we are going to create this in android studio so for this if we want to use in android studio first of all you should download this tensorflow light model to import in our android studio so for this what we have to do you just need to click on download so just click on this download so it will going to download this in your system and then I will tell you how to use this inside your project. Now I open my file explorer and you can see it is downloaded here successfully. Now it is always better to give a different name or rename it. So I am just giving here birds model but you can give any name it is totally depend on you. So I am just giving a birds model and make sure you should not change this extension .tf light. So you can see so why it is showing two here because i already have uh, this model here so for my previous project so i have to delete this and now i rename this so birds model tf light so this is fine so now let's open our android studio and start creating this project so for this i am going to file new new project and just click on the empty activity click on next and you can give any application tutorial name it is your choice so just i am giving here android first ml tutorial you can give any name it is your choice and you can use any language i am going to use java and click on finish so you can see our project is built successful so let me close my other project so otherwise it will make my system slow so so now we have to create the ui of this application so for this what we have to do first of all i am going to copy paste the ui from my previous project so it will save over time so you can create your own ui it is your choice so i am just typing here relative layout and uh, now I am going to copy paste the UI from my previous project so it will going to save over time. So I am just copying this entire thing. So I have to also copy the strings from my file because it is contains string.
I hope you know what is the strings in Android if you are want to work with Android Studio or want to work with ML so I think you should have basic understanding of Android how the what are these things what are strings what are the how to create layouts in, in, inside this so now you can see we have an image view so it is showing error so I have to copy the image from here so I just copy this this is just a demo image to show this is the image view so I'm just copy pasting it inside my travel section so paste this here so this is fine so you can see our UI is almost ready so you can see what I have I have just a one image view one button and uh, now I have a text view where we are going to show the output and uh, this is just a simple text view to show to show the user you have to click on this result if you want to see the search result on Google so this is just a basic UI so you can create your own UI it is totally depend on you now come inside our main activity dot Java and I have to assign the XML ID to Java IDs this is the tedious thing so first of all we have to do this so I'm just copy pasting this let me delete some unnecessary things like you can also implement a capture image from camera but I am just picking the image from gallery but you can also take the image from camera as well it is to your choice now I just copy this XML ID into Java ID so I just copy this and paste it, it here now I have to pick the image from my gallery so I already uploaded tutorials on how to pick image from gallery so you can check that, that tutorials and you can also watch the start activity result deprecated for picking the image from gallery or from camera so I already uploaded lots of content on that so I don't think so there is a need to rewrite the whole code again so I am just typing the that code which you can read type it easily so I have to write the code of how to pick image from gallery so you can see we have to use this so you can see this is the just a code get the image from my gallery and then we have to convert this into a bitmap because we are going to get the URI from our gallery and we have to convert that URI to bitmap because we have to pass the bitmap to our model and then it will going to give a result and I just set the on click listener on here so if you are not able to understand this thing then I will recommend you check out my video of start activity result deprecated where I show you how to use what to use how to use activity launcher to pick the image from gallery instead of start activity for result so this is just a basic code of picking image from gallery and after picking image from gallery I am getting the URI but for my model what I need to pass I need to pass here bitmap now maybe you're wondering how I am able to figure out uh, what to pass to my model so just wait a minute so now let's move on to the main topic how to import model in our Android studio so there are two ways you can imp import the model from an API on runtime and you can or you can by default set the model in your Android apps so we are going to set by default so you, you just have to need to right click here right click here then new then after clicking on new just go to other after click on just click on tensorflow light model now you need to give here model location so first thing you can see it is showing these things you need to add these dependency build features ml model binding through and you also need to add these dependency so let's close this and add these dependency inside our build.gradle module app first so I am just opening copy pasting dependency from my previous project so first of all you need to copy this build features and you can type this exact so just paste it here so this is fine and now we need to also paste the dependencies here so I copy this and paste this dependency here just click on sync now so dependency set up correctly and now we are ready to import the model so now we need to import the model in our Android Studio. So right click here, then new, then click on go to other, then click on TensorFlow Lite model. Now we have to select the model from our directory. So my folder, my model is present inside my download section, but you have to select your own path where your model is present. So you can see I give the model name here, but model tflight.tflight. So you can see just select this, click on OK, and now click on finish. So when you click on finish, you can see it is going to the show the code. So you can see it requires the bitmap and it will going to give the probability list of probabilities and you need to show the result of maximum probability. So you can see this is the Kotlin solution and this is the Java solution for that thing. You can also copy paste this thing and you can you can create type this thing on runtime as well. So it is always better to take the picture of this. Otherwise you can come inside this section. If I close this so you can see now this ML package is generated here and inside this we have a bird model dot tf light so you can always come here from anywhere. So if you want to take picture of this you can take otherwise there is no need. 
now you can see both things are set up correctly and we are ready to write the code so you can see our model is imported here successfully and now what we need we need to just pass the bitmap to this and we are going to get the result so for this first of all you can see i am getting the uri from my gallery and we need to convert this uri to bitmap and then i will tell you how to use ml model so first of all we need to convert our uri to bitmap so you can see i am just calling the function here we are getting the uri and we just declare a variable here bitmap type and i need to convert this uri to bitmap and i am just passing here result so you can see uri contain inside result variable so i have to create this function so it will going to return the bitmap so just type here private and it will going to return the bitmap so this is another function name is uri to bitmap and what will go it will going to take it will going to take the uri so and i am just giving you can give any name it is your choice now what we need to return we need to return we need to convert this uri to bitmap so media store dot images and then dot media dot get bitmap and inside this we need to use the get content resolver this dot get content resolver and we need to pass the result so it will convert our uri to our bitmap now it can throw the exception so take your cursor here and it will going to show this red bulb so click on this add exception so you can see it will if it, some problem occur then it will throw this io exception and it will prevent your application from crash so you can see this error is gone now we need to create this function output generator where we need to pass our image bitmap and it will going to show the result so you can see this is just a basic thing we need to pick the image from our gallery and we need to convert that image to a bitmap and then we need to pass this bitmap to our function which will going to show the result from on the basis of probability using our ml model so let's create this function which is our main function of this video so just type here private why it will not going to return anything so the function name is output generator and what it will going to take it will going to take this image bitmap so just type here variable name bitmap and i am just giving here image you can give any name now inside this we need to perform this thing so it we need to write the code inside our try catch block so as you already know you can see we need to type this same code inside our try catch block so first one thing what i can do i can copy this code you can also copy this code so copy this and paste this here now we need to do some modification inside this so you can see first of all our model name is birds model that's why it is showing this birds model now alt plus enter to import this model now inside this we need to pass the context so first of all what context we need to pass main attribute dot this then it will not going to show error now we need to create the tensor image from our bitmap so alt enter plus enter first this so it is showing error because this variable name is also same this variable name is also same so give a different name here so i just give bitmap here image bitmap and we need to pass this image here so now after this what will it will going to show it will going to show give the results so it will process this thing so and after this we give it will give us properties of everything so now import this category make sure this category is on org tensorflow light support label so now we have a probability list of probabilities of all birds name and which have maximum probability that will be our final result so for this we need to find out the which one have a maximum probability so we need to perform some calculation here so for this what we need to take we need to first of all we need to declare an index here so in index and by default what i store inside this zero now what i need to take here float max i am just giving this variable name max and i need to take this this is our probability list so probability dot get first i get the index probability of zero index and this present inside our gets score variable so we have a now we have a inside our max variable what we have we have a probability of the zero index now we need to start a runner loop here so for int i so this is just we are performing a sorting inside our list so hope you know how to perform sorting so int i is equals to zero and i less than and inside this we need to run this up to the probability dot size and i plus plus and inside this what we need if max this is just a basic sorting if max less than probability dot get i dot get score if it is less than then we need to replace it so max equal probability dot get i dot get score and after this what we need we need to set the index i because we need to fetch the value of that index and inside this variable we just update our index and after com completion of loop what we need we need to set the result on our text view so for this first of all we need to declare a variable of category type so category output you can give any variable name and inside this we need to take here probability dot get 
and we need to pass the index. Now we have an exact index which contain the maximum probability value. And now we need to show this output on our text view. So TV result dot set text and we need to type here output dot get label. So get label will return the string and we need to just set this and after this we need to close our model. So you can see this is very easy to use the ML in Android app and this is just a basic implementation. Now what we need to do, we need to just set an on click listener on our result so we can load into our Google as well. So I can simply copy paste the code from my project. So I copy this and I paste this here. So I just type here TV result dot set on click listener and I am just passing the Google URL and my query. So I am passing this query from my text view which are going to get from my text view. So this is just a thing. So finally guys our and first ML Android app is ready. Now it's time to check our app whether the app is working or not. And if it is working fine, then we will end this video. And if, if there is some error present, then we will solve that error. And then we will end this video. So let's run our application and see whether it is working or not. So I click on this. So project build successful. Now it will go to install the application. So application install successfully. So you can see now let's say load image from our gallery. So I pick this image and you can see it is showing the exact name. Now let's go with a different image so you can see so our application is working fine so i hope guys you learn something new in this video if you have any question if you have any query just comment down below i will try to give the answer of every comment please like the video please subscribe the channel and please share the channel if you have any question after watching this video just let me know in comments i will try to give the answer of every comment so thank you guys see you soon in next amazing video thank you